What up YouTube? James Biggie here, uh, making another video for my vlog ranty channel. This time I sort of want to talk about something that's kind of really close to me as a topic. It is about being an atheist and growing up and figuring out that you are an atheist. And for those who don't know me personally, I'm an atheist and I have been for a long, long time. It's sort of a decision I figured out in my youth growing up and I sort of pieced together over time. Now, in no means is this video to put down religious people or to put down your religion or your beliefs if you are religious or anybody that I know who happens to be religious. I'm not damning you for being religious. I'm not making fun of you for being religious. I'm respecting you and your religion, and I have no problem doing that as long as I get that same respect back. Um, the only problem I ever have had with people and their beliefs is when they try to force them on me. When they tell me things like, I'm going to hell, or... Um, they'll pray for me and stuff like that. Like, I get it. Like, you have your faith and it means a lot to you, but like, just mind your own damn business. I'm here to talk about my story, kind of how I became or figured out that I don't believe in God and I don't think there is a God. Um, very young, my, both of my parents, uh, first of all, are Catholics. They're kind of lazy Catholics. My dad would rather watch football or wrestling than go to church on a Sunday. Uh, or just go to work and be productive or do some gardening or stuff like that stuff that he enjoys instead of going and sitting in a room full of people that he doesn't know on a Sunday my mom tries real hard my mom has always tried real hard um, and it never really panned out for her uh, <laughs> between me and my dad my dad being like eh, I don't really feel like going and me being really really against it early or really like trying to get out of it from an early age um, sorry when I was very young we would go to Sunday Mass, or my mom would force me to go to Sunday Mass, and I would always feel weird about it. I always feel like I stood out differently, and that the people around me were also much older and would be a little judgmental of me. I also got bored out of my skull for a kid being like six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, where you have to sit and be quiet on an uncomfortable wooden bench around a bunch of people you don't know, while somebody up on a stage above you reads and talks to you and what they're reading and talking is not making a ton of sense to you it's a bad experience and that was kind of step one in turning me away from it um beyond that like my parents would keep trying to you know force me to go for a while here and there um really only on the main holidays because they are the lazy catholics that they are uh, so christmas easter stuff like that they try to bring me to midnight mass on christmas and like I would be resistant to it. Like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Uh, I'd rather do anything, literally anything, like watch grass grow, whatever. But I got forced to go a lot as a kid. Not a lot, but enough to kind of figure out like if this is what this requires, I'm out. So that's why I started doubting and started like kind of like, well, if I do believe in God, then why can't I just believe in God from the comfort of my own home or while I'm doing other stuff. Why, why do I have to go and like prove it to a bunch of people I don't know? Um, and then it got to a point where it got very, very, very bad and when I actually did kind of just blow up after like dealing with this for years and I finally blurted out to my parents like, listen, I don't want to go because I don't believe in this shit. And I'm not calling their faith shit. Like, I just don't believe the same shit that you believe. So I call anything else shit. Like, not disrespecting, but just saying, like, this is not for me. I don't want to go, and here's why. And I said, I don't believe in God. I don't think there is a God. I haven't for a very long time. Even when I was a kid, very young, before I had my real doubts, I was never sure about it. Like, I was never like, oh, this is my faith. This is what I believe in. So that became a massive, massive argument, a massive fight. Um, my mom has... A set of issues that I won't go into. It's very personal, very, like, I'm not going to just throw it out there on the internet or whatever that she's been going through her whole life and, like, throughout my whole life and stuff. So I won't bring that into it. But she mostly is sort of, like, uh, put the blinders on, let's not talk about it, let's not look at it, let's not think about it sort of person and kind of in denial about the whole thing, which is fine, and that's her right to be that way. It's okay, like, I get it. I don't expect her to acknowledge or to embrace that decision of my life, right? My dad and I had a huge fight about it. And the way arguments with my dad go down 
it's he yells a lot <laughs> when, when he's heated about a topic and then like you yell back and forth with him and the only way to get anything through to him is to raise your voice to his level and you go back and forth and then eventually you just frustrate him until he's like you know what whatever and then he quits arguing and that happened and that's happened about a myriad of other topics in my life with my dad he's a dude that like likes to yell when he's angry about stuff he never never hit you He'll never f do anything real fucked up. He'll just yell about stuff. And that's cool. That's his thing. Like, I actually, I think it's really endearing about him that he does that. But in this situation, it was pretty rough. So we had that fight. We had that argument. There was things said. There was, like, uh, like the whole, well, where do you think you come from? Well, what, you know, what do you think brought you here? Why do you think we're here? Where do you think you're going after you die? And I was just like, well, the Big Bang evolution and in the ground like there are scientific explanations for many many things and scientific theories that have far more proof than the bible and then a book um any book not to down the quran or the old testament or whatever any religious book is just that it's a book and everybody can read them who believes in that, that sort of thing read them and gather their faith from it and whatever, and that's great for them. For me, it's not so much. I take my my sort of position more based on facts and science and on what has been proven and tested and theorized and is more knowledgeable than just adapted from literature. So there was that. Um, beyond that, it got to this point where every like holiday dinner or something with my family or whatever it became sort of the elephant in the room where like we would have Christmas dinner and I still celebrate Christmas in a sense that like I spend time with my family or my friends or both and we exchange gifts to me it's never been about Jesus or religion even when I was a little kid I was always like oh I get stuff stuff is cool and then I got older and people told me like Hey, you gotta stop being such a greedy asshole and buy other people's stuff too. That's how this works. And then I was like, okay, I get to get people stuff and then I get stuff and we hang out and we eat some food and I spend time with my family and it's cool. But at like the religious holidays, Christmas, Easter, stuff like that, at holiday dinners, like somebody would be like, okay, it's time to say grace before dinner. And I always felt like there was this like quiet judgmentalness about you know, around the table, people looking at me or thinking, because when they go to say grace and bow their heads and shit, I'm just like, all right, it's time to eat. I'm fat. I got to get this food in. I'm trying to get that ham. And I don't really care about your prayers. And I'd wait and, okay, all right, we're done. Cool. Let's eat. Um, and then, like, at one point, my grandmother and I, uh, my dad's mom, had a conversation and she was the most understanding about all of this which was very weird we had a very deep very nice talk where she asked me about some stuff and i explained to it explained it to her and uh, she was like well why don't you whatever and i was like well i don't because and she's like well, i get that but i do and here's why and we had a good deep conversation she's very respectful about it and i didn't expect that she's the of the oldest generation in my family and she was the most like open thinking, open minded about it. Um, outside of that, I have one aunt that's sort of a pain in the ass about it all the time. And every now and then I say something to push her button specifically because she's kind of a pain in the ass about it. But that's okay. I always get the, oh, you're still doing that thing. Like it's a thing that I choose to do. Uh, it's just, I don't have the wiring in my brain to just throw it out there and just be like, yep, that's what I believe because there's no real evidence there's no real proof and that's what it's always boiled down to recently this is in like just the last few weeks or whatever somebody i know who is not like super close super tight with me but somebody i've known my whole life or whatever kind of had a conversation with me where they sort of came not came out but like we had a conversation and it came up and it got brought up and they expressed to me that they no longer are a religious person. Um, I'm not going to mention this person's name because it's not my spot to blow up their, you know, their whole spot or whatever. It's not my position to blow up that and put that out there for them because there are some people that I guess don't know that about them. 
However, we had this conversation, and this is a person that was brought up very religiously, like really, really religiously, and then decided that that's not for them, and kind of moved on and created their own sort of life, and is doing very, very well now in life, and doing like making a ton of money doing something that they love doing and living life and traveling and doing good things and I'm super proud of them for that and I'm super happy about that for them or about for them uh, because of that or whatever the case may be but um that's sort of what brings me here today like I said back when I was younger I was so aggro and angry about it like I was just like fuck your religion fuck your god I don't need any of this you're stupid for believing what you believe. How can you just blindly follow? Stuff like that. And I know people that are still like that, that are my friends. And I'm just like, all right, dial it back a little bit. Because, like, almost as bad as being the super pushy religious person is being the super pissed off pushy atheist. So I'm just like, I got my fucking, my lack of beliefs and how I live my life over here. And I'm going to keep that to myself mostly unless I'm asked about it. Or unless I want to have a conversation very civilly in a civil manner with somebody like this tiny YouTube audience I have. Which is like not an audience at all because there's like five followers on this channel. Anyway, that's sort of my experience with things. Um, like I said, I don't care if you are religious or not. As long as you're a decent person. And if I'm proven wrong and like I die and I don't just get buried in the ground or burned or whatever, and there is some sort of afterlife and God and heaven and shit, and I'm totally wrong. I feel like I've led a decent enough life to be like, to be okay, right? To check the box and go to the good place and not the bad place. Um, although, I don't think that's gonna happen. I really, really, really adamantly, like, do not think that there is even a possibility of that sort of stuff. Either way, um, what is your experience if you are an atheist? Or if you are somebody who is sort of challenged in your faith now, or thinking about it, or having some sort of doubt? Uh, I'd like to hear your struggle if you're willing to put that sort of stuff out there on the internet. There's a comment section below that you can do it in. Um, please do. It's always interesting, and I'll comment back. And we can have a conversation, because I think things get better the more conversations you have with people, even if your views differ. If you can come to some sort of understanding and mutual respect, that's when things get better. Like, if people weren't, like, judging everybody or judging other folks for being different than them all the time, the world would be a lot better of a place, religion included. So definitely comment down below. Please click the like button. Uh, share it if you feel so inclined. Um, subscribe. And I'll put a button up here that'll be a picture of my beautiful face where you can subscribe to this channel. And a couple of my other ranty videos below. They range from very silly to kind of serious like this and everywhere in between. So definitely do that. Subscribe up here. And I'll talk to you again soon.